Okay, well, I know what you guys are thinking that this is probably a little, oh, like, overly dramatic and or dark for wearing during the day, but I don't mind wearing things like this during the day as long as my outfit is just down and I always wear a nude lip. Um, <clears throat> so, this is what it looks like, and now we will begin. I don't even know what I did. Okay. okay, so starting out with Maybelline color tattoo and bad to the bronze and this. Oh yeah, this is it. yeah, bad to the bronze. Take a bit on your finger and like just you know amount dab first. Just dab it first and then start rubbing from the end to the inner corner and you know you don't need it to, that to be too dark because you're really just using it as a base but it still needs to be um, you know visible <coughs> excuse me and then going in with tough as taupe and once again, just with your finger, you know, clean it off. I always have baby wipes with me when I'm doing my makeup, constantly wiping off my fingers. A rub tough as, tough as taupe around, and then dab this in your cre on your crease and above your crease. You know, just dab. <laughs> and then, you know, take some on a big fluffy brush and um. Excuse me. And then start blending it out a bit. When you blend, don't blend in a circular motion, or well, unless you really only like it that way. Um, I'm trying to have a line. That's, you know, the look we're going for. And so what is up with this hair? Ugh. And so just, you know... Blendy, blendy, blendy. Using the same color, uh, using the same brush, I'm going in with a uh, Showgirl by Mac. It was limited edition, so really you could use any silver with a bit of sparkle, but not chunks of glitter or anything. That's what it looks like. So any color that is similar to that, it has a blue undertone, definitely. And just put that right over where you put toughest taupe. <laughs> and going in with a flat shader brush, I'm taking Woodwinked by MAC, which is just a really nice, copper color and applying that with a flat shader brush um, on my lid where I put back to the bronze Some things, they're not, hold on, my eyes are not even. And, and then we're going to move on to concealer. As you see, it's, this is not my typical wing. It is very thick, but that's what we were going for with this look. <coughs> <coughs> I'm going in with my CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Concealer in 205. Sorry for the hiccups. Make sure you wipe off your hands. Because you do not want... One time I did not wipe off my hands and I put concealer on and there was black lines in it. 
Um, and I'm applying this in a triangle. No, and we're just going to leave it like that. Hi. I know this is very, very light and very bright and not a lot of it, um, but that's how I like it. Taking a damp beauty blender, what I, which I used for my foundation, and blending it in. I use my finger to put it on because my fingers are warm. But really for this line, for this uh, concealer, it's so amazing you and soft. You don't really need to um, warm it up first, but it's always good, I guess. You need If you don't have this concealer, then you have to get it in your life because you need it. And then taking some translucent powder. Once again, I'm using my Stay Matte translucent powder. Just set your under eye concealer. And I know it's very, very, very bright. You don't have to tell. shadow like pressed pigment looking thing um, I'm putting some of that on my brow bones and then taking I don't know where uh, another pencil brush just apply that in your inner corner and you can bring that to meet the purple Um, now curl your lashes. If I could find my curler. Curl your lashes. And apply your first coat of mascara. And I'm using the Scandalize Flex by Rimmel London. After you've let it tack up a bit, then apply your second coat, and I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic.
So this is pretty much it. Um, except for me applying a little bit of soft and gentle as my highlight. That's your finished look. Um, I hope you enjoy this. It is a little different for me to do a bit more of a wing and do some purple liner. But um, other than that, I really like this really highlighted look and making my eyes pop or, you know, your eyes pop. So please, if you recreate this look, leave it as a video response or tweet it to me and I will definitely check out your video. Um, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and check out my Facebook fan page. Once again, just going to remind you guys about my Share the Love for the uh, month of March. Whereas, if you give me a shout out on your channel or if you tweet me or, you know, whatever you do, or, you know, preferably give me a shout out on your channel, then I will not only give you a shout out on mine, but I will tweet a shout out to you and Instagram your channel and, you know, put it on Facebook. So, 